hi welcome to this excel video tutorial abila david is my name in this tutorial i'm going to demo how to use the volatile offset lookup function inside the sum ifs function to perform multiple criteria calculation so let's dive in now this data set is officially stored as an excel table and we have columns that spans from the other dates payment method all through to the sales amount column now let's come to the cell j2 where we are going to perform the single calculation and the calculation will be based on the top five total that includes each of these line items that falls under the brand column which are bmw ford limousine so let's see how to perform this calculation so i'm going to come to cell j2 deploy the sum ifs now the sum is required sum ring so i'm going to throw in the offset function now the offset requires the reference where we want to start the offset from and then the rows and the columns compulsory arguments also we have the height and the weight optional arguments now for the reference i'm going to select cell c3 for instance now this is structured reference nomenclature that that's peculiar to working with excel tables okay now that's going to be the starting point the offset points so i'm going to put in a comma now the next argument is the rows so i need to point how many number of rows that i want to move down from the reference that is the starting point so that's going to be i want to move to one row below so just type in one comma next we need to provide how many number of columns now we want to move across now since we want to point to the six amount column so i'm going to count one two three four so i want to point to the fourth column to the right now this is going to be positive okay now let's say this six amount is to the left of the data set for, to the left of the reference that's going to be minus something so let's just type in four as the columns comma now the height is going to be based on the rows function argument that i'm going to deploy to give me the number of rows i have in my sales amount column so let's press f9 to see what that's going to give us now that's going to give us 39 rows that's cool control z and finally for the offset comma we need the width just type in one close the offset then we can see what the offset is doing f9 key to evaluate now we have each of the six amount value which has been separated with semicolon okay now control z and let's jump back to the sum ifs by pressing the comma now we need to provide the criteria range one so for the criteria range one i need to point to the six amount column comma and for the criteria one i want to select this three value in cell j1 to cell l1 which are bmw ford and limousine comma now for the criteria range two i want to point to the top five so for the criteria range two i'm going to give the six amount column comma and for the criteria two i need two math operators greater than or equal to inside double quotes and then we use the ampersand and the large function to return the array which is going to be the six amount column comma and then we want the top five just type in five and then we can close up the large function and then we can close up the offset now let's control enter cool now it's spill to the neighboring cells to the right so this is going to be the total sales for bmw the top five it's going to be the top five total sales for brown limousine filter this and choose bmw only click ok now let's choose six column number filters top 10 then we narrow this, this down to five and then we'll click ok and let's select this data and come to the status bar now in the status bar we have eight seven two thousand thirty nine naira and that's exactly what we achieved so our formula is working now let's get rid of these our filters now just click on okay, let's just click the filter from here all right now we actually want to aggregate all these spill values inside a single cell now press the f2 to open the formula and carefully type in the sum function now this is actually working with m365 and office 365 dynamic arrays so we don't need a traditional sum product just use the sum function and then we can close off 
the formula. So the sum function houses the sum ifs, the offset, and the large. Okay, then we can control enter, and that returned one million. Or well, let's use naira. Okay, let's use you know the currency there. Okay, it returned one million seven forty two thousand two five eight. Okay, now let's quickly verify. Let's filter to see only BMW Ford and limousine okay right then click okay and let's choose the top five from the six amount column number filters top 10 and then we narrow this down to five and then we can click okay and let's check select the value in the status bar we have one million seven for two thousand two eighty five and that's exactly what we achieved so this is essentially how to combine the volatile offset function inside the sum ifs to perform multiple criteria i hope you enjoyed this video if you do give some like share comment and if you have not subscribed you can consider subscribing thank you and bye for now cheers